Hello everyone. This is Sayyid Musa Kaleem from Epicop and today I'm going to show you how we can create slides in Ionic. So let's get started. This is our contact.html file. In this file we're going to be creating the slider using ion slides uh, ionic element and after creating the ion slide we'll jump to the contact.ts file and we'll import all the necessary things for creating slider and for changing the slides as well so firstly we'll start with the contact.html file contact.html so in this file I'm gonna create a slide using ion slides so this is our ion slide element ionic element and I'm gonna give the pager attribute and now I'm gonna say ion slide did change means it it generates the event if the slide gets changed so I'm gonna call one function called slide changed and also I want this to be play automatically so I'm gonna give the attribute called autoplay equals to you need to give the seconds here uh, in my case I'm giving 2000 it means two seconds inside this ion slide element I'm gonna create ion slide let's give the proper indentation here ion slide and inside this will give ng4 equals to let slide of slider so this is the array the slider is the array which we are going to create in the contact.ts file for now it is not we it is not created it is not present in our contact.ts file uh, currently I'm giving this in my contact.html file and now inside this let's give the button and let's say ion button ion button and the color v will be secondary you could give anything you could also give primary as well and inside this I'm gonna display one message from the from uh, I'm binding the message from contact.ts file and this message would be skip message so this is the message which we are going to create in our contact.ts file and after this let's give the image attribute and inside the source we need to give the source attribute in the square brackets so that we can get the image from the slider array and also let's give a alt message a beautiful image with some cool stuff let's give this alt and also below this ion uh, below this uh, slide below this image slider I'm gonna give the h4 attribute and let's give the class to this called slide title so inside this will give inner HTML inner HTML equals to 
I am giving this all attribute the source attribute of image and the inner HTML attribute of h4 tag in square brackets because we have to retrieve the value from the slider array which we are going to create in the contact.ts file uh, let's say slide dot title and below this I'm gonna create one para and inside the para I'm gonna give inner HTML attribute and that inner HTML would be slide dot content these all are the properties of the slider array which I'll show you later first we'll complete this part and we'll move ahead after creating this all and now finally I'm gonna create another ion slide but now this time I won't use this I'm not going I'm not going to use the slider part and simply I'm gonna give one image and that image would be present inside my assets folder and let's delete this all things let's use this image copy this image name and it is present inside the assets folder inside assets it is present in the images your image name yeah you can see here and finally I'm gonna create one button that button would be on ion button and the color of the button will be the will be primary and I'm gonna use one icon inside this button this button will be present at the last slider of this image slider so icon end and this one will be large clear these all are the properties which you could use and you can find it on ionicframework.com and inside this let's give let's let's go ahead and below this let's give icon name icon name would be arrow forward so this is the button let's save these all things and finally we are going to create the slider array but before that I would like to import the view child in the below in the uh, at the top of this page beside the component I would like to import this view child and after that since we are using the slides in Ionic we have to import this slides as well from Ionic Angular and the view child would be imported from the Angular core after importing these two things in the contact.ts file we'll now create view child and we are going to pass the slides as well let's create slides slides and we'll also create one variable and that variable would be of type string you might have noticed that we have given the skip message here in this button we have binded this skip message variable which is coming from this file so after giving these all things we'll create 
this method slide changed and inside this we'll check if this dot slides dot is end it means that we are checking here if the slide is end then we're gonna display this dot skip message equals to that's awesome if it is not a last slide or if it is not the end of the slider will use this dot skip message this dot skip message equals to go if the slider if the slide is the last slide of the slider then we are displaying that's awesome message at the at this button inside this button you can see here inside these two buttons if it is not a end of the slider then we are going to display this message and we are going to give one event here that is click event if this button gets click by the user then we're gonna say next then we're gonna call this method call next and this method will be present right here at the bottom of this method this dot slides dot slide next you can see here it means that when the user clicks this button the go button then the next side next slide will appear on the screen so for this we are going to create a slider array since we are, haven't created this yet we have to create one array below this method and let's give it here let's give semicolon and inside this array we'll give title title would be awesome image awesome slider or you could give Ionic you are awesome you are awesome you could display anything and give comma here and give the content here and in this content let's give uh, a beautiful an amazing slider is present here and let's give comma and let's use image tag inside this image tag let's give assets because my all images because the all images of this project is present inside the assets folder and inside assets folder we have a subfolder called images inside this images folder we have three images you can see here we'll copy these all names here and we'll give it here and let's give comma or let's give comma here this is our first slider the title the content and the image let's copy this for two times because we have three images here one two three let's change this to angular beautiful and incredible you could give anything inside incredible stuff and you have to change the image name four three nine double two seven four three nine double two seven and let's change this to um, firebase
let's change this message with some lorem lorem epsom hola mola anything you could give this is the dummy content you could use any content here and let's copy this file and let's paste it here after creating this array hit save and hit this save these two files and let's check whether we have created this slider in a right way or not let's save these all files and let's jump to the project structure and I have git bash installed here in my computer you can see when I right click in the project structure I have a option for git bash I am running this application on Ionic Labs as you could see here Ionic serve hyphen L is the command to run your app previously we are doing few mistakes in Ionic slider and Ion slide and that mistakes I have rectified that mistakes and I have make this correct as you could see here inner HTML HTML will be in the capital form I was I have given in a small form that's why it is not taking you have to give inner HTML in this way and you have to give ion icon attribute these two things I have fixed in this ion slides hope it will work now will save this application and will run using this command that is ion ionic serve hyphen l will hit enter this command will run the application on two platforms and that are Android and iOS you could also select Windows as well but for now I am only running this application on Android and iOS you have the option to select the platform as well in Ionic Lab uh, I, I will show you how we can select the platforms on Ionic Lab so hope it is clear so far how we can create the ion slide ion slider and how we can go to the next slide using this event and that is ion slide did change I am calling this event and here I am calling this method if this slide dot isn't then the message would be changed to that's awesome and if it is the starting slide then this message will appear on the screen for the next slide we have this method slide next and this is our array it contains the title the content and the image so this all this is all about the ionic slider hope you understand and we'll now we'll see the application on Ionic Lab. Yeah, you can see here we have the platforms. If we select this, it will render on the Windows screen as well. But I don't want this on my screen, so I'll only select Android and iOS. This is the Android. When we click next, you can you could see here the image, the title, and the content when we hit or when we click this go it will be redirected to the next page you can see here it is working fine and the message gets changed to that's awesome here you can see here we have given that if the slide is end then the message will be that's awesome if it is a starting slide the message will be go as you can see here this is the message go and this is that's awesome the last slide of this slider and this is the button let's go ahead and the arrow 
you can see here I have given icon name arrow forward I was doing wrong but now I have fixed it and our slider is working fine hope you understand about the slider thanks for watching this video and please subscribe and share my videos with your friends please drop your feedbacks in the comment section below thanks watching thanks for watching this video and see you again